Today we're diving into a topic that's sure to stir up some emotions. The seven types of women you might want to steer clear of. Now, before you start throwing stones, remember that this video is all about personal growth and self-awareness. So, grab your favorite beverage, sit back and let's get real. All right, let's kick things off with type seven, the drama queen. Now, we all know someone who's like a walking soap opera, right? Drama queens thrive on chaos and their roller coaster emotions can leave you dizzy. While they might be exciting at first, this type tends to suck you into their never ending whirlwind of issues. Remember, life is a marathon, not a sprint, and your emotional energy is precious. Moving on to type six, the manipulator. These women are like emotional puppet masters, pulling your strings and playing mind games. They can make you doubt your own reality, leaving you feeling confused and drained. Remember, healthy relationships are built on trust and open communication. So if you find yourself constantly second guessing, it might be time to reevaluate. Type five, the perfectionist. Don't get me wrong, having high standards is great, but when someone's perfectionism becomes a way of life, it can lead to frustration and disappointment. Perfectionists might struggle with their own self-worth and project their standards onto you. Remember, imperfections are what make us human and embracing them is key to genuine connections. Now, onto type four, the energy vampire. These women thrive on negativity, draining your positivity and leaving you feeling like you've been hit by a ton of bricks. It's important to surround yourself with people who uplift you and inspire you to grow. Remember, your environment shapes your mindset, so choose wisely. Type three, the martyr. Ah, the self-sacrificing saint. While compassion is essential, martyrs tend to put their needs last and then guilt trip you for not doing the same. Healthy relationships are about balance, giving and receiving. Don't let guilt dictate your choices. Prioritize your well-being too. Type two, the control freak. It's okay to have preferences, but when someone tries to control every aspect of your life, it can suffocate you. Remember, healthy relationships are built on mutual respect and autonomy. Don't be afraid to set boundaries and have open conversations about personal space. Lastly, type one, the serial monogamist. Now, this might sound counterintuitive, but constantly jumping from one relationship to another might indicate a deeper avoidance of personal growth. Being comfortable on your own is essential before entering a relationship. Remember, a healthy partnership enhances your life. It doesn't define it. So there you have it, my friends, seven types of women to approach with caution. Remember, the goal isn't to judge or shame anyone, but to prioritize your own well-being and growth. Healthy relationships are about mutual respect, open communication, and shared values. Also, download the free approach blueprint to learn how to meet and attract women anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more honest conversations about life and relationships. And as always, stay curious, keep learning, and embrace the messy journey of becoming a better person. This is signing off. Take care.